after you enduring five days for 10, 12 years. And he's really looking now. And that is the reason you I will put it to you along these lines. And this is all I will say you are, I think, going to hit up the Clive Davis party. Yes, it was a dreamlike occasion where Whitney's body was still in the end. And I believed that was a finished craziness. I know a few people who work by and by with Clyde Davis, and they needed to leave them before they heard I would agree. Either with them, folks, why you didn't attempt with him, Clyde Davis, you don't see puff at the uh. He was tossed out of a Uptown Records by Andrea Rail set you free you. Underscore, underscore, done. Underscore, underscore. You're done that is your rabbi, and you need to be very much like them lovely people. Seems as though it's a long last opportunity to spill the tea on Hollywood's most blazing subject, the unbelievable gatherings tossed by Clive, and didn't actually have superstars shaking in their fashioner boots. You might have heard murmurs of these hoedowns, yet trust us. When we say they are not for weak-willed, think more stunning than Willy Wonka's chocolate industrial facility. And you're kicking close everything off. When the word on the road was that Clive and Diddy were tossing the most ludicrous gatherings this side of the Mississippi, yet these were no conventional soirees. Good gracious, these slams were bound to be held at a gay club than your commonplace feast corridor. And the exercises inside were not for weak-willed. We're talking unusual ceremonies, criminal way of behaving, and enough stunning lewdness to make Caligula become flushed. And assuming you believed that was wild, hold on. Until you hear what Worf's Morgan needed to say regarding it, this dubious television character, let the cat out of the bag on everything from silly medication use to ill-advised gay capers, yozer. We're almost certain we really want to clean our ears out with cleanser subsequent to hearing that yet stand by this more it just so happens. Even Usher Thierb's super lesson entered by Diddy himself had some stunning subtleties to share about these wild gatherings. We couldn't actually envision what those two got up to together, so why in the world would anybody in their right see any problems go to these gatherings, you ask well? We're similarly, however, puzzled, as you may be interested. I had an opportunity to see a few things, definitely between 13. What were you talking about? I went there to see the way. Of life, right? And I saw it, yet I couldn't say whether I could enjoy and comprehend what I was in any event. Seeing it was it was wild, yet assuming you think unseemly endeavors in these gatherings are the main explanation the music business avoids them that isn't the case since the sad demise of Whitney Houston, the music business, has unexpectedly boycotted Davis and his nearby colleagues. Houston passed on February 11, 2012, at the Beverly Hilton Lodging in Beverly Slokes, California. I can affirm that Whitney Houston was articulated dead at 3.55 p.m. At the Beverly Hilton Inn, we got a call at 3.43 p.m. from insecurity in Beverly Slopes discharge, and police answered minutes after the fact Beverly Slopes Police Lieutenant Imprint Rosen said in a proclamation her reason for death had been accounted for as suffocating, yet how and why she suffocated is as yet unclear to authorities CBS News detailed her reason for death by saying on Thursday coroner's authorities said she suffocated unintentionally Houston, likewise had no less than five unique medications in her framework, and furthermore we've learned had coronary illness. There was water found in her lungs that demonstrated to us that she was alive. When she was lowered submerged coroner, boss Craig Harvey told individuals at the time as per our tests, the degree of cocaine was not really a deadly degree of cocaine but rather her passing was confounded by constant cocaine use and coronary illness. She might have passed out first because of the inebriation from the cocaine, or she might have had a cardiovascular failure and afterwards suffocated. He said it's presumably one of those two situations. Mind you, the conditions encompassing Houston's demise simply don't appear to accumulate. There are reports of guard checks and injuries on her body proposing treachery was involved now a confidential specialist is dropping all in all a stunner guaranteeing that she was truly killed. He says he has proof that the situation starts to get interesting at the hour of her passing Clyde Davis. 
quite possibly of Whitney's nearest partner and coaches, was the coordinator of the Grammys you would feel that somebody so near the pop diva would have deferred or counterbalanced the occasion of regard, yet no the show happened as arranged, leaving many individuals scratching their heads to make matters significantly more secretive Davis put out an announcement professing to have been with Whitney at the hour of her demise and claiming his veneration for herself. And something doesn't smell here, we're not saying that Davis is fundamentally associated with Houston's passing, yet the pieces don't appear to be accumulating this, is what Davis needed to say, I was with her 48 hours before her passing it, never seemed obvious me that she would bite the dust two days after the fact she was showing me what she had done in Rebuild, how she had quit any pretense of smoking, how she had gotten her throat free from nicotine, and she was needing to begin going in the studio. I could never have imagined 48 hours before her passing that she would pass that they would be that terrible, untimely into her life. She was making a courageous endeavor during that period to surrender tranquilizes and restore herself, Davis said he's terrible enough that Clive Davis didn't drop or postpone the Grammys after Whitney Houston's grievous passing, yet it deteriorates evidently. He had an entire commendation plan for her yet. He actually preceded the festivals. What sort of beast does that the least Whitney merited was for the world to pause and limit her passing the correct way yet when individuals began examining Davis concerning his problematic choice. He gave a considerably seriously horrifying reason. The following night, you don't drop you transform a night into a recognition as per Davis. He preceded the show on the grounds that the group of the departed told him also could you at any point accept that VIPs, who thought they knew Davis, and his relationship with Whitney, were left in shock at his uncaring motion. It's difficult to understand the way that somebody so near Whitney could be so unfeeling and discourteous. Following her demise, Jared Kennedy didn't feel that the Davis party ought to have happened as Booked, I suspected it was totally nauseating. I have never moved past the way that this party happened. She's higher up, and the coroner is standing by to go up there and get her. It's shocking to me. It seemed like this odd Shakespearean misfortune unfurling, where this is how things have been. Lady, who was conceded so little pride in the course of her life, couldn't actually kick the bucket in poise. Correspondingly, Sharon Osborne likewise said, I watched the Grammys the previous evening. I didn't hit up the Clive Davis party. I don't have the foggiest idea how individuals might have hit up the party realizing that Whitney was still in that building. Dead Chaka Khan, a colleague of Whitney, felt free to scrutinize Clive's and responsiveness. In very clear terms, know what could spur an individual to host a get-together in a structure where the individual whose life here after Clive Davis preceded the Grammys festivity.